And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Billy from C and B Knows Podcast. Um, we are getting here a little bit late tonight. Um, it's like seven oh three. Um, let's get right into it. Um, you have not heard by now. Um, we are going to look back to the playoffs. Um, uh, let's go to the BIW show coming in Fountain Hill, Arkansas, um, on January 13, 2023, at 4 in Fountain Hill, Arkansas. Tickets go on sale December 13th. Be a great um, st- uh, st- stop and stuffer for your uh, loved ones. Um, want to go to the BIW show, get them. Um, contact my friend uh, Josh Newsom. Um, at Carwell Bankers here, he will get you hooked up with some tickets. Um, Rob Love returns from an injury, take on Rook Tyler. Um, Myla World versus Emma Camacho, Bam Bam Malone and Chase Stevens versus Sergeant Sergeant Rorty. Um, there's been a change in the card. Um, uh, Frankie Thomas, he was supposed to wrestle uh, Tim Storm, but due to some uh, scheduling conflict between him and the NWA. Um, uh, Josh has brought in um, D. LaSalle. Um, y'all might know him from AEW um, fame. Um, so let's get out here and support these local guys. Uh, Adam um, Asher versus uh, Michael Anthony Sh- Sharp Shaver. Um, he is part of Better, I mean, better pitcher. Um, t- um, then uh, Ray Fury versus um, uh, Stephen Hendricks. That should be a great matchup there. Um, that's in Found Hill, January 13th, 2024. We're, we're gonna kick off 20 for 24 with a bang. Then 20, uh, uh, January 27th, that being Found Hill. And I will come um, the week after. Uh, I will come back on here and give an uh, update, and we will talk more about that. Um, that being said, uh, let's get right to the high school football playoffs um, this week. Um, we got Rustin just hosting Man- Mansville. You got Zachary versus uh, uh, Central Baton Rouge. That should be a great matchup. I'm a picking um, um, Zachary and Russell will be in the state championship um, next week. Um, the non in the district, I mean Division Three non district uh, non select. You got um, Union Pairs. You're gonna go to Gina. Uh, this is the first time Gina has been in the playoffs this deep in the playoffs. Um, school history. St. James comes up to Sterling in the 165. Come out there support the, um, the Panthers. Let's send the Panthers and uh, Union Pairs or um, Gina. Either one, I'll see them in the state championship game um, in two weeks. Um, in Division uh, Division 4, non select, you got Hainesville versus uh, Logos Point. Then you got uh, Oak Grove, one go down to Kentwood. That should be a great matchup right there. They got a history, and um, I like to see Hainesville and um, Oak Grove in the state championship um, matchup down there in um, the Louisiana Superdome in a couple of weeks. Um, the design was um, by West Monroe uh, student. Um, won the design of the that's going to be on the pamphlet of the um, book. Uh, the Louisiana Superdome. So go out there and buy the book. I mean, when it come, when it goes out down at Superdome, you go down there, get it. It's okay. Um, if you have not heard by now, ULM has fired their head coach, uh, Ta- uh, Terry Bowden. Um, like I said, ULM Tech Gramlin. We have a lot of local talent around here in Northeast Louisiana. Um, they need to go out and sell their programs to the local high schools, get these kids interested to come to these programs instead of going, you know, going uh, uh, elsewhere. Um, so, 
that being said, uh, Mississippi State hires uh, Jeff um, Levy as the new head coach. Uh, he was the uh, Levy was the uh, offensive coordinator at Oklahoma uh, this past season. Um, he is going to bring the offense there in Mississippi State, uh, kind of what um, the former coach there that passed away uh, a year ago. I, I, so I think you know. Uh, Texas A&M is to is is uh, is to is to hire a uh, Duke's head coach uh, as a new head is Mike Eckers Eckles Ek, Echoes. Um, he is to be introduced as a new Texas A&M head coach um, in te at uh, College Station, Southern Mississippi um, has made a change as a defense coordinator, letting him go. And two different coaches, uh, Coach O'Brien and Coach Callahan and Coach Lacey, was let go. Um, so um, Baylor's um, head coach um, Dave Miranda, he's going to return to him for another season, but he did make uh, the offense coordinator uh, Jeff Grimes is not returning um, this year. Um, but so in pro news, um, if you have not heard now of uh, that. Um, the the, Car uh, the Carolina Panthers has fired their head coach uh, uh, Frank um, Frank writes uh, he, he's one and done um, and and three of his co coaches was fired too with him so um, so is my understanding is um, Is the new co the new owner of the uh, Carolina Panthers? Is he going to be like um, Dan Snyder in um, uh, Dan Snyder was in uh, Washington? Um, you know, so we'll see. Um, let's get out here. Let's um, talk about uh, cleaning Kristen. Um, uh, when you house clean, call her, text her. 318-355-7106 Amazing Grace Designs This is one of the uh, shirts that I, uh, April Davis done, uh, done for me um, Contact on Facebook Amazing Grace Designs Or you can call or text her 318-401-8811 uh, Taylor Made uh, Ministries Call my friend Ed Taylor um, Need some food um, Christmas right around the corner He'll be glad to uh, Base of gumbo, what you need, dressing, 318-953-6609. Um, got car pro, I need to tune up on your vehicle, here, repair, call my friend Will, 318-307-1477. Stop a crack, um, my friend um, Robert LaCaz, 318-396-97-1900. Uh, uh, 396-9719 um, or hey doing a fundraiser want to do a fundraiser call my friend um, uh, the owner of BIW uh, B, uh, Josh Newton he'll be glad to come out uh, get you a talk to you and see can y'all uh, work something out for, for a fundraiser um, so let's you know like I said uh, I'm gonna get some shout outs um, JP, uh, thank you. Um, gave me some soft. Um, gave me the some software up um, links I can do. I'm gonna try to do it on, on my PC next week. Uh, I'm gonna do like a test run, see what it what looks like. Um, Ginger, um, hope to see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, well, next January 13th in Fountain Hill. Um, well, oh, my wife, she's you know, she's feeling yicky, but you know, keep her in prayers right now. Let's get you know, get her back on the mean where you know she can get back going to Fountain Hill on um, February 13th, um, uh, January 13th, and see her favorite wrestling Bam Bam Malone. Um, like I said, uh, next week I'm gonna be working on the legends of um. Segment. Um, I, I got to come up with something. Um, support this guy right here, um, Jeffrey Martin. 
a re very good read, um, supporting. Uh, he's going through a lot of cancer right now, um, so support him. But that being said, um, uh, the pay per view was very good. Um, Survivor Series, um, no nothing hard right now. Uh, CM Punk did return back to the WWE. Um, uh, Tony Khan, some legal thing he cannot comment on something. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so, um, LSU should get a good bold bid. I think Sunday, I think they're going to release the re uh, bowls of who going to wear. Uh, it's looking like LSU might be playing Notre Dame or maybe playing uh, North Carolina and down in Tampa, down in Tampa, Florida, I think. And the uh, Outback Bowl, it used to be Outback Bowl, now it's, it's Capital One Bowl or something like that. Um, so, get out there, um, support the podcast, uh, support my friend uh, JP's podcast, uh, pod. Um, we'll go check him out. Hope I can get with him in the next couple of weeks. We can do a, uh, another podcast together. Uh, maybe discussing uh, the thing of uh, uh, Christmas. So thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I think I'm gonna get here do a short one tonight. I, I, I'm not feeling that great. Um, so uh, that being said. Um, my North American Championship belt I've got over here. Um, I might give a, uh, I think I'm going to do the history of the Louisiana State Championship, uh, Louisiana State Championship was held in the Mid South, and the Mississippi Championship was held in the Mid South. So that's going to be probably the next couple of weeks, maybe three. And then at the end of the year, I'm going to do a review of 2023 and BIW. I've got all the matches. We're going to, I'm going to go over the cards. So thank you all for support. Um, Ginger, Rooster, um, no, 2023, BIW is over. Let's focus on 2024. Um, but 2024 looks amazing for BIW. Um, Go out there, uh, I think in a couple of weeks, I think the Iron Claw opens. Uh, go out there and support that film. Um, basketball news. Um, I'm, uh, I got to get with um, Cody and maybe get on here next week, give you some updates on some scores on um, uh, the basketball, high school basketball uh, going on. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, God bless y'all. Until next time, this is Billy from CNB News. We'll see you at the BIW show in Fountain Hill on January 13th. Be there or be square.